Hey everyone, Ace of Clay here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another sculpting video. If you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture. And today I'm jumping back into Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 and I'm sculpting PJ Pugapillar. PJ Pugapillar is this really long, cute, creepy monster toy that chases you around in the game while playing red light, green light. And of course, if he gets to you, he kills you. And I really enjoyed making him and I really hope you enjoy the entire process. Now, before we get into the video, I just want to tell you about my brand new online shop. It is aceofclay.com. Just click shop in the navigation. I plan to keep this stocked with a bunch of really cool things. Right now, I've got a sticker pack on there as well as some signed posters and of course, some original sculptures from this channel. So be sure to check it out. Again, it's aceofclay.com, hit shop, and it is also linked in the description box below. And then if you haven't seen my other Poppy Playtime characters that I've sculpted on this channel, be sure to check out my Mommy Long Legs video and my Huggy Wuggy video. Those are linked below as well. And now without further ado, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ace of Clay. Now let's sculpt this guy. All right, let's get started. I've got my aluminum wire here and I'm creating the spine for PJ. And I'm going to trim it to size and get it into the sort of shape that I want. Now using a smaller gauge wire, I'm going to create the legs by just wrapping the wire around the main spine and then just taping it really quick for some added security before I add some aluminum foil that will further anchor in those legs. And then I'll cover this with some Super Sculpey Ultralight. Now with the ultralight, I just want to shape out the very basic structure of this guy's body. He's got these different segments, so I'm just adding these sort of ball shapes going down the entire thing. And then we're going to bring that one out a little bit more in the front, and then he'll be ready to bake. Let's get him in the oven. And once he's baked and completely cooled down, I realized I made the legs way too long, so we're going to trim them down and then start covering this guy in some Super Sculpey Original. I got these even sheets by rolling it through my pasta maker on the thickest setting makes it super easy to get a nice even layer of clay on your sculpt before you start adding the details. And as you can see, once he's completely covered, it's time to create his nice fuzzy fur texture. So I'm going in and creating these little tufts of hair that are just little cone shapes and blending them onto the surface. This is a pretty repetitive process, so I speed through it rather quickly in this video after I show you a couple different tufts of hair that I make. And then I switch to the bottom half to add my little pieces of hair just because it makes more sense to layer them this way than the other way. And then we'll get into a little time lapse here, show you how to make this kind of look like a pine cone. <laughs> I swear when we're done it doesn't look like that at all. But anyway, after this I have a good base figured out for the hair and I'm going to go in with my rubber cone shaper tool and just press in a little bit of a fur texture like that. And then we're going to work our way up the rest of this guy. All right, the bulk of creating this guy is done. Now we're gonna move on to the head. This was a lot of fun. It's a super stylized face and I really enjoyed the entire process and I hope you enjoy watching it. So I got my ball of aluminum foil covered in my clay and I'm pressing out the eyes with my large ball stylus. And now I'm just going to start outlining the different facial features with my explorer tool and then further that with my spoon tool to make the facial area a little higher up than the rest of his head and then we're just going to reshape the bottom half here by adding some more clay blend that in and then figure out his little snout area and then i want to carve out the mouth just completely remove the clay using my spoon tool by pressing the clay in and then of course my excel blade to carve some out use code ace of clay at excelblades.com to save 15 percent on your purchase now let's just keep shaping that mouth out get it nice and smooth and then we can start adding the facial details, bringing up some areas by just adding some more clay. We've got some snakes of clay in there. We've got some just round little puzzle pieces that I'm just fitting together to fill in that entire area and then blend it all in like so. And then just making sure everything is game accurate. Double checking with my reference photo as often as possible. Now let's just start carving out some of that 
chin area sometimes you'll find that it's easier to just remove the clay than to blend it in or push it in because when you're pushing in areas to get rid of mass you're just you're putting that clay somewhere else so it's better to just cut it off entirely and then you can always add it back later if you want so let's just continue that mouth make sure those eyes are nice and round and then get his eyeballs in a little ball of clay and then press it in like so and repeat this on the other side and then of course we can't forget his little heart shaped nose i just made a little pill shape out of clay and then folded it in half to create the little heart and then i pinched at the bottom there you go, perfect little heart. Super easy and super effective. And now that that's on, I just want to refine the mouth a little bit more before I add some bacon bond that will secure the future teeth. But before I stick the teeth on, I have to make his tongue and insert that. So let's just shape it out in my fingertips like so. And then I create a little crevice in there for the tongue to be inserted just so it's nice and secure. And of course, got to add some bacon bond too. And then stick the tongue in like so and then make sure it is in the right position and then we can start working on the teeth to make the teeth i just flatten out these little pill shapes like that and then cut that in half and you have two teeth and then being very careful i attach them one at a time and this is not a fun process for someone with large hands and yeah so took a little bit of time but I made sure they were all straight and it all looked good so let's sort of get through that to get those other two bottom teeth on and then we can start adding some fur to his face Okay, now let's work on his ears. I just make these out of one little solid chunk of clay. I know it's kind of pushing the limits of how thick the clay can be before you bulk it, but I'm not too worried about it. So let's go ahead and just add some more fur to the ear, like so, blend it in. Make sure not to smash everything because this isn't bulked out. It's easier, of course, to smash it. So just be very gentle, as you should be anyway, throughout the entire sculpting process. Now let's get some more fur on, add some bacon bond, and stick on that ear. Right now before we get any further in this sculpt let's talk about our sponsor all right now before we get into the rest of the video let's take a second to talk about our sponsor fuzzy and i've got lucy my dog here to help me if you have a pet you know that they're part of the family right you're part of the family and there's nothing like coming home to your dog being all excited to see you or waking up to soft purrs in the morning from your cat and of course we want to keep our pets healthy and make them just as happy as they keep us. <laughs> now Fuzzy is a telehealth service for pet parents that offers 24 seven access to personalized pet care from veterinary professionals. From everyday questions to middle of the night emergencies, Fuzzy has the answer pet parents need. <laughs> I'm gonna keep you here the whole time. Through live chat and virtual consultations available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Fuzzy can answer your pet questions, big or small, urgent or every day. Fuzzy can also recommend the exact right products for your pet, all of which are handpicked by their established team of veterinary professionals and available at discounts exclusive to Fuzzy members. From getting your pet's diet just right or your middle of the night needs to finally figuring out what makes their breath smell that way, nothing is too big or small for a quick Fuzzy call. 
call. Right now, Fuzzy is offering my subscribers a free seven day trial membership. Just go to yourfuzzy.com slash ace of clay to sign up. That's a free seven day trial and access to exclusive member discounts on pet meds, supplements, food, and more at yourfuzzy.com slash ace of clay. Again, yourfuzzy.com slash ace of clay for your free trial of Fuzzy with access to 24 seven personalized pet care and vet recommended products. Thanks again, Fuzzy, for sponsoring this video. Now back to our sculpture. Say bye, Lucy. Well, I couldn't have thought of a better sponsor for this video as I'm sculpting PJ Pug a Pillar. Why not talk about a service that will help you with your Pug a Pillars? So, anyway, got that other ear on. Let's add some more fur and really refine this face. And then we gotta finish the body. I'm gonna do most of this off camera, don't worry. Don't want to bore you with the same process over and over, but I gotta show you, I gotta show you something or else there would be no content for this video. <laughs> I mean, you know, what am I gonna do? So we sped through it, we made it okay. All right, now we're gonna give him his little shoes, like that, kinda, you know, just rolling out that pointy sausage of clay, twirling up the end, and then sticking it on to each of the legs with some bacon bond. Very nice. Now let's refine the head a little bit, add some more fur texture to the surface, and then get this thing attached with, of course, some more bacon bond. I go through so much bacon bond, it's not even funny. I want to say like a bottle every like month, which I feel like is a lot. Anyway, then we're going to bake him, and once he's baked and completely cooled down, it's time for paint. All the paints that I'll be using are folk art brand matte acrylics. Matte is very important because if you get satin or glossy, they're a, a big pain and they're super hard to blend. So just get the matte ones to save yourself some headache. Chalk paints are good too. Acrylic chalk paints, always love those. Now we're just painting the blue areas. He's got these different body segments and they go, they alternate between blue and purple. So let's put all the blue on first, just because the blue I believe is gonna take a few more coats than the purple. So I can be messier with it and that's okay. So after I believe three or four coats of Calypso Sky, I'm gonna blow dry it like that to speed up the process and make me happy. And then we're gonna go in and start the purple. This is Red Violet. You don't wanna put, if you have the option of putting a dark over a light color, that's way easier than putting a light over a dark color. So all these areas that the purple has to overlap that I was sloppy with the blue, that's easier to cover with the purple. Yeah, because to put that light blue over this dark purple, that would have taken so many coats and it would have start, started looking cakey and it would have just been a big mess. So let's finish up those purple areas. After what felt like a million coats of purple and blue, it's time to paint the eyes pure black in one coat because black has amazing coverage. So let's go in and paint those super dilated pupils like that. <laughs> now we can start working on the pink to create this lovely pink color. I mixed alizarin crimson with some titanium white like that. And we're just painting the snout area, the smile and the tongue, and then we'll move our way down onto the legs. All right, now let's get those teeth painted. I tinted some titanium white with a little bit of black just so they were kind of gray, not so bright white and in your face. And now let's get some red violet on those shoes and say it with me. And he's done. My sculpt of PJ Pugapillar is complete. Let me know what you think of it in the comments.
Well, he's definitely the color scheme we're going for apparently right now. <laughs> Lots of purple and blue here, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like my sculpture of PJ. Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 is chock full of awesome characters. I would love to make more. Just let me know who you want to see me make next. Do you want to see Bunzo Bunny? Do you want to see Daddy Long Legs? Let me know in the comments. And then as always, thank you so much for watching and being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ace of Clay. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.